Good day grade 10s, welcome to week 28. In this lesson we're going to be reminding you about trigonometry, just basic revision, and then we're going to be looking at some very basic two-dimensional trig problems. So let's start, okay, so let me get out my pen. Okay, it's an ACD, okay, ACD is a triangle with ACD equal to 90 degrees. AD is 17, so that's 17 in case you can't see it. CD is 8. And B is a point on AC. B is a point on AC such that angle BDC equals 30 degrees. So that angle there is 30 degrees. Right, now what does it say? Calculate the lengths of AC. Calculate the lengths of AC. So the first thing they want is this length here, the length of AC. Now grade tens, although I said immediately that we're going to be using trig, do you realize that AC is in the big triangle and the only angle we have is 90 degrees. But we do have this side, which is the hypotenuse. Okay. And we have another side. So that means that we could use Pythagoras. So for A, what we're going to do is we're going to use Pythagoras to find the length of AC. So therefore, we know that AC squared plus CD squared is going to equal to AD squared. Okay. So AC squared is what we want. So AC squared is equal to AD squared minus CD squared. And that is by the proof of Pythagoras. So we're going to say AC squared is equal to, what is AD? AD is 17, so that's 17 squared minus 8 squared. And then to get AC, we obviously need to square root that. But before we do that, let's find out what that is. So let me get out my calculator. Okay, and what do we want? We want, let's clear it. We want 17, oh, I can just do it like that, sorry. I got 17 squared minus 8 squared. And that gives me 225. Therefore, AC squared equals 225. And therefore, AC is going to be the square root of 225. So we're going to go, okay, fine, we want the square root. So we go shift square root of 225. And it gives me 15. 15. So the length of the whole of AC is 15. So the length of the whole of AC is 15. Right, now let's change color and go on to the second part of this question. Now they want the length of BC. They want the length of BC. Right, now we can't just go, oh, well, we know what AB is and therefore we can subtract. No, because we don't know what the length of AB is. But BC is part of this small triangle, yeah. And if you look at this very small triangle carefully, you can see that we've got a side and we've got an angle and this is a right angle triangle. So in this case, what are we going to be using? We're going to be using Sakatoa. Sakatoa. And we should have written that first. When you're doing trig, what's the, one of the first things you do? You write down Sakatoa. So let us do this. So we've got B. B is going to be Sakatoa. Now what side do we want? This is our angle, which is 30 degrees. This is the hypothesis hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. This is the adjacent side, the side next to the angle and therefore BC is the opposite side. So we want the opposite and we've got the adjacent. So we want the opposite and we've got the adjacent so we're going to be using tan. So we've got tan of 30 degrees is equal to BC, the opposite side, over the adjacent of 8. Therefore, we can say 8 times 30 degrees is equal to BC. And we get out our calculator and we go, okay, fine, I can do that. We've got 8 times tan 
of 30 degrees. Wait, before I do this, what did I say we always need to do? We always need to make sure that our calculator is on degrees. And as you can see, my calculator is on radians, which is not going to work for me. Now it's on degrees. So always make sure that your calculator is on degrees. Now let's do this. So it's going to be 8 times tan of 30 degrees and it becomes 4.62, 4.62. So this opposite side there is 4.62 and we can say that BC is equal to 4.62. Excellent, so now we've done this. Now let's change color again and then we can do the last bit which is AB. So now they want the length of AB. But the length of AB is actually quite easy to get because we've got the whole of AC. We also have BC and therefore we can work out what AB is. So we can say that, okay fine, AB plus BC equals AC, but AB is therefore equal to AC minus BC. AC is 15 minus, what did we just work it out to be? 4.62, the BC, and again, let's get out our calculator, and we go, okay, fine, we've got 15 minus 4.62, and we've got 10.38. So therefore, AB equals 10.38. So that grade tens is an example of a very easy two-dimensional trig problem. Let's do one more just to make sure we know how to do this. So in this one, it's very simply, they said, find the unknowns, find the unknowns. So if we look at this, and again, what do we, the first thing we write before we even look at it? We write Sakatoa, Sakatoa. Right, now we see that we've got this little two centimeters here, and we've got a 65. We also have that that's a right angle because these are supplementary. And they want X and Y and Z and we've got 9 centimeters here. So if we look at the big triangle, we only have this one thing here of the 9 centimeters. If we look at this triangle over here, we've got 9 centimeters in a right angle. It doesn't help us that much. But if we look at the small triangle, this one here, do you see that we've got a side we know it's a right angle triangle and we've got an angle. So I'm going to start with this small triangle and with that small triangle I can work out X and Y and from there I can move on to the big triangle. So let's do that. So it doesn't matter which we start with, let's do it alphabetically and we're going to start by looking for X. So this is our angle 65 degrees, therefore that is our adjacent side. This side here is opposite the hypotenuse, I mean opposite the right angle, so therefore that makes that the hypotenuse, and therefore this is the opposite side to the angle. And we've said that we want to get the x first, so we're looking at what we've got, which is an adjacent, and we want the hypotenuse, so we're going to be using cos. So we've got cos of 65 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse, adjacent side which is 2 over the hypotenuse which is x. Therefore if we cross multiply we can say x is equal to 2 over cos of 65 and now we can get our calculator out again and we can just go right to it's clear and we go 2 divided by cos of 65 degrees and we get 4.73 4.73. So that is 4.73 and I'm going to write it over here as well, 4.73. Now there are a couple ways that we could get the y, we could use either use Pythagoras where we use this side squared minus this side squared and we get that when we square root that answer. But a better solution would be to actually not use our 4.73. Maybe we made a silly mistake. Maybe we typed in 2 over cos 63 and we end up with 4. I don't know, 3, 5 or something silly. And then we end up with the wrong answer. So the better thing to do is use fresh stuff again. Use the stuff that they were given you if you can. So in this case, when we're looking at y, and I'm going to change the color just subtly, we're still going to be working in green 
just a different green. So we want Y now. We want Y. So this time we've got the adjacent, but we want the opposites. So this time we're going to use tan. So always, always try and use the information they gave you first. If you can't, then you use the information that you've worked out. But if you can use the information they gave you, that's better because it's more accurate. So we've got tan of 65 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is y, over the 2. So therefore, 2 times tan of 65 degrees is equal to y. Right, so now again we just need our calculator and we clear it and we go 2 times tan of 65 and it becomes 4.29, 4.29. So therefore y is equal to 4.29. So this line here is 4.29. Right, now if you look at it, if you look at the little triangle now, we've got that that's a right angle that's nine centimeters okay but we have this is also 4.29 so we have two sides in a right angle triangle so first of all it means that we can get z using Pythagoras and we can get the angle theta using one of our soccer toes okay so let's change color again so that we can see where we're working and I don't know let's use red so we're looking at this triangle now we're looking at this triangle And obviously, you're always going to be trying to use the right angle triangles first before we use anything else. So in this triangle, we've got this now becomes the adjacent side. Actually, no, it's still the opposite side. Sorry. This is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent side. Right. But before we do that, let's, so what are we going to do? Let's, 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 Let's work out the angle theta first using that. So we are going to use the opposite and the hypotenuse, which means we're going to use sine of theta. So we're going to go sine theta is equal to the opposite side, which is 4.29, over the hypotenuse, which is 9. And then we're going to get out our calculator and remember how we do this if we want the angle what do we want we actually want to type in the second function of sine so we go shift sine it comes up as sine to the negative one of 4.29 divided by 9 and we close the bracket and it gives us 28.47 degrees 28.47 degrees. So theta equals 28.47 degrees. Okay, now at this point we need to work out the adjacent side, which is your z. And again, I'm just going to change colors a little bit. We want to work out this side here. Now there are two ways we can do this. We can either use Pythagoras or we can use trig. Um, since this is a trig question, I'm going to use trig. So we know that this angle here is 28.47 okay and we've been given the 9 centimeters we worked out the 4.29 and we want the Z so again like I said to you if possible always try and use what they gave us so they gave us the hypotenuse so I'm going to say okay fine we want either of these two we want the hypotenuse this side here is the adjacent side which you're trying to work out so that's the adjacent so obviously we're going for cos so we're going to go cos of 28.47 degrees is equal to the adjacent side which is z over the hypotenuse which is 9 therefore 9 times cos of 28.47 degrees is going to be equal to Z. So we take out our calculator and we go, okay, fine. Shift, we clear it, and we don't have to shift it this time. We go 9 times cos of 28.47 degrees, and we end up with 7.911. So Z is equal to 7.91. 
Okay, and obviously these units are in centimeters. That is in centimeters, so the correct answer would be 4.29 centimeters and centimeters. Please make sure you write your units in. Okay, right, and that's it, grade 10s. That is basic 2D trig. In our next video, we'll look at something slightly more complicated. Please make sure you know how to use Sokotoa, how to identify what you're using, and always, always try and use what they give you first before you use the numbers you've worked out. And that's it, grade 10s. Go practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Ooh.